Hey everybody, Colin here, Salt of the Streets, with a real quick little bit of housekeeping for you before we jump into tonight's salty shorts, little video short thing that we do here. Um, number one, uh, the book club Instagram live stream for tonight has been, uh, uh, will not be happening tonight. Uh, we will be dropping the first ever, I'm super excited about it, the review preview for the book club that Donovan is doing. Uh, that comes out March 1st, the end of this month. So look forward to that. We'll be recrapping the rest of the book and getting into a little preview of the next book to come. Um, I've obviously got a little bit of a sneak peek and I'm very excited about it myself. A second piece of housekeeping, uh, a little bit more existential, perhaps. Uh, if you have not heard, it is official. The nation of Ukraine has been invaded by Russia. Now, there are a lot of things going on in and around that. It's a constant update, so I'm not going to pretend here for a second to even try to give you updates on what's going on. What's the latest from the Ukraine front? Because by the time I post it, it won't be the latest. And, you know, honestly, it's evolving. We're going to see what's happening. Right now, there are multiple reports of attacks, confirmed attacks throughout the entirety of the nation of Ukraine. Um, it looks like uh, it's it's a little bit more widespread than the initial conceptual idea of just kind of like the more eastern front and the 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 independent states or provinces or whatever that had supposedly made their declaration of independence a couple of days ago. It was we, we talked about it on the last episode, but uh, it looks like the invasion has gone a little bit further than just that. Who would have guessed? I know. So, uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna keep our eye on that. As things progress, uh, and might have some more periodic updates for you as more of these salty shorts come out. This seems to be a pretty great avenue for little updates here and there. So, anyways, uh, without any further ado, tonight's salty short. I don't like being too hot. I definitely don't want to be in a fire. And we're back to Salt of the Streets podcast. Like the I have fought fire fires before. Every day. I definitely don't want to be. Uh, you fought a fire before? Uh, multiple. When you were in the Coast Guard? Yeah, we fought one fire. That was live. And that was Was that hot. crazy as fuck? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't great, but I hate to say it, but you're trained for shit like that. And right. then it just kind of feels automatic. And the difference being is when you rotate through fire party shifts and stuff like that, because it is so hot that you can only spend like 10 or 15 minutes down there at a time before you get pulled out and the next group comes in to relieve you, so on and so forth. Go out on the back deck middle of the Bering Sea, you pull away your firefighting gear, and there's a fucking chimney of steam that comes up like that, and you could burn yourself. you got to be careful. But really? Yeah, it's, it's wild. Fire, yeah, fighting fires isn't, is, it's, it's, it's a, it's a deal. It's a weird deal. So it's, it's a weird deal, especially when you're, like, on a boat in an ocean. Yeah. That if you jump into the water, you'll die in two minutes. Shout out Coast Guard. It's dude. weird. Tell you what, yeah, cool shit, bro. People shit on Coast Guard. Shout out Coast Guard. Yeah, that's right. Straight up. We're the only military service that doesn't make a living killing people. Uh, yeah. Shout out Coast Guard. Word. Every episode, <laughs> shout out Coast Guard. God damn. We out here. I'm kind of proud of my, my branch, even though they're just as woke as everybody else nowadays. They got the yeah. same problems, but I mean, Alexander Hamilton started them, which obviously we have issues there, but you know. No respect. It's, That's it's all one good. of my next. I have three or four like big books that I want to read next, and one of them is a JFK book that I started. I think I was reading it when we were doing this podcast. Never finished it. It's like mm -hmm. it's an enormous. Yeah, book. I remember you like yeah. diving into it a yeah, little bit, and I just couldn't couldn't do it at the time. Now I think I could absolutely hammer it out. It's less than less pages than the John Adams one, but I also have an Alexander Hamilton that I thought was David McCullough, but it's not. But it mm -hmm. was the basis for the musical, so it's obviously very legit. So. Um, I got a couple, and then Ayn Rand is over a thousand pages, or yeah. the, the Atlas, Atlas Shrugged, Shrugged yeah, yeah. over a thousand. So it what sucks is you kind of have to do Atlas Shrug before you do the Fountain, but Atlas Shrugged is a way bigger dive, yeah, than the Fountain. Yeah, so I got a couple of real beasts that I'm going to dive yeah. into post book club that they might be like, I might do that next book club of like, okay, now we're going to commit and we're going to do one of these books in three months. 
and then we're gonna do another book. A quarterly in, big bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I, I think I finished John Adams in like three and a half months. Yeah. And so that was heavy. And that's six fifty. That was a beast, you know. Yeah. And so the Ayn Rand, you know, we'll do like a six month thing. Like we had six months to to crush a thousand pages. I think I could probably do a thousand pages in six months. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Let's start the timer. We'll get the calculator out. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do it. We'll do it. One thousand. One thousand divided by what? How many days are in? Six months. Well, let's break it down. Year. Let's do six for months. So yep. it's 166 a month. And then we'll just roughly say, well, you know, we'll... Divide it by 30. Yeah, or... we'll do 30. We'll divide that. So you talk five and a half pages a day. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, that's nothing. You're good. We can totally do... I'll probably finish it in five. And You'll be, be like, working on that along with four other books at the same time. <laughs> and can I... I just say, for a moment, you have started this book club. And I always brag a lot how about, like, I'm basically your drug dealer in red pills. I just throw them yeah. at you. You've inspired me so much with this reading endeavor. I have, I've, I've taken great personal pride in the steps that I have taken in my own private reading life, and so I, I and it's all to you. So thank you, good sir. Absolutely. And I feel like you're doing that to a lot of people. And I, and we need that in our society right now. I've big had time. many people um, mention similar things to me. You know, Casey has has gone back to reading. He's reading all the time. Shane is like listening to more books. And he's a horseshoer. Like Yep. Yeah. So I, I think now. I think it's doing good. I think it's doing good for yeah, people. Yeah, you, you're doing like good, this. bro. So I'm cultures I'm here downstream. For it. From, uh, 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 yeah. There you go. Politics down and that's politics how I, downstream you know, from culture. And that's if I can you're tailor these culture. books to exactly, exactly. I feel good about it, and I feel proud. I mean, like I said, reading three, four books at one time. Like I have to get back to that. And those books, I feel dude. Good. And we, good, you said them during the pre-show, but uh, right now you just smashed yes. Yamin Parks yes, uh, in I order just to live. Yamin Parks. So right now, right, this is my fun book. Is the Sears Unfortunate Events? Yep. This is what I'm doing like at lunch. And right? I wanted to talk to you about. We're gonna talk about that after you're done. In yes, a second. that's like my. I'll read this at lunch. Mm -hmm. This I was reading only in the bathroom because I didn't want to finish it too quickly. Now I'm about to tear the fuck on this thing, and I'm gonna crush it in probably a week. Um, and then I'm also reading. This this is the baby book, the prepper, the birthing oh, the partner, birthing partner, right? Yeah, because you're gonna be whew, bro. me, me and Aaron, me and Aaron, and then the two midwives. That's it. <sighs> That's yeah. heavy shit, dude. It's gonna be crazy. So, this is to help me be better at that. Um, That's gonna be wild. Yes, I, I told know. Jordan, like weird visitation um, stuff at the hospital. Right. Right. That's that's. I didn't really think about that until now. We don't even have to like. It's your kid. We don't even You're have to house. register her or tell anyone for a few days. Like, hey, we had a baby. We can yes. Illegal child. Yes, it's a secret. Yeah. What the fuck happens? Whoa. No one needs to know. Yeah. What happens if somebody just is like, oh yeah, we had a baby, and then like, I don't then know. all of a sudden I, she's yeah. like. 16 years old you've been homeschooling the whole time and like the state has no idea she exists i don't know i don't what know what the fuck <laughs> i imagine eventually because she there's goes, a movie she's there gotta somewhere. go and see the midwives you know she'd yeah. have to see doctor at some point somebody's registering so, this baby's alive. yes the midwives would eventually be like you're telling me you haven't called the, the hospital yet is what you're saying like i don't what do you uh, mean what you <laughs> I know. i'm not sure Prove what that it saying <laughs> yeah yeah um so yeah no i feel very good about it i told you when mm -hmm. i was in high school and I had far less things to do. I was regularly crushing three or four books at a time. Um, and so I feel glad to just be back at that mental capacity. Um, mm -hmm. To be real. <laughs> Jordan said it's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. I'm not... I'm obviously scared because she's going to have a fucking baby in our living room, but um, it's also it's going to be very cool. You know, I'm excited. I told Jordan I'm excited for people to come over and for me to say, do you know what we did in here? Right. Do you know what happened in this room? You see that seat where you're sitting? Yes. Guess what happened there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we got to buy a bunch of shower curtains and stuff and put them all over the floor. and Murder stop. Yeah, because yes. you basically have to prep for a murder scene, Pretty right? Pretty much. That's what I've heard. Yeah, like half of her body's going to come out. It's going to be crazy. So hey, there's a baby in a placenta. This baby is crazy all the time. I was feeling the baby yesterday, and she'd chill for a second, and then be like, bow, 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 bow. That's it. I don't even know how she moves. Yeah, you could see Jordan's belly like shake around. It was crazy. I, I don't know how she moves that much. Yeah, it was very cool. So, oh my god, that's so cool. Just, just shadow today. boxing with dad. I'm She's shadow boxing with dad. Mark. Oh my god, yesterday in the gym, and then we'll fucking move on to me and Crow. I I shadow boxed with five pound weights in my hands. Oh, my shoulders hurt. Yeah, so bad. Careful, dude. That <laughs> seems like it would hurt. That's your surprise. That's what was this? What was the finisher? Ah. I did three rounds in one minute, and I was. I was dead. Three rounds in a minute. Yep. God damn. Three one minute rounds. Yeah. yeah I was dead. Damn. So. Yeah, I've officially, like I said, before you eat crow, I'll just top it off with this. Yep. The random banter. <clears throat> I'm officially having to. 
pull the trigger on my new schedule now this week. There it is. Because I was all ready to do it, and then all of a sudden I got the non-rona, and I yep. was out. And still, I mean, it took me fucking weeks to recover, which was shitty. Never lost taste and smell this time, though. I don't think Omicron that does. That was choice. It. Yeah. I, I hear of a couple of people still doing really? that, but it's generally the people that have never gotten Rona before. Yeah. So, and it's way fewer and far between. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, that's this week. So I'm not going to be like Carolina and work out every, f- for, you know, five days a week or some yeah. shit, but I am getting up at, uh, at the very latest three 30, I've decided to come in to this here studio and have a cup of coffee, start working, get some shit done. And that way, when I'm done from work, I can, I can go to the gym Nice. or I'll probably start in my, my happy spot, which is running. Yeah. Um, I've done that before where I became a pretty good runner. So I'm going to start there. I got my kicks all ready to go. Cardio is important. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to hit the trails. Just, just get the, the heart used to beating again. You know what I mean? I got an awesome set of trails in the back. Yeah. So I'm going to go run some trails, and it's going to be dope. Uh, weather's good for that right now. So start slow. Make sure that's you drink where I'm gonna lots start. of water. And then I'm probably going to be hitting you up, show me some basic shit. And then when the timing's right, like on Fridays, I'll probably go kick it with Carolina and, um, uh, uh, the, 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 oh, my God. Chad. Non-brother Chad. Yep. Um, and, you know, get some vanilla get some Chad. stuff down there. Yeah, he's vanilla Chad. Yeah. Vanilla duh Chad. Yeah, exactly. On the Twitch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, yeah, he's a good guy. He I like him. Shout out that guy. He's cool. So, Welcome to the south of the streets. Coming at you every week. With this food for thought. Hope you're ready to eat everything.